I thought you might like some tea. Nothing like a nice warm cup of tea to make the whole world seem a bit brighter. But you're, you're Mrs. Potts, dear. Very pleased to make your acquaintance. <laughs> All right, children, that's quite enough. Careful, darling. <laughs> Who are you? Madame de la Grande Bouche. Perhaps you've heard of me. <coughs> Sorry. See, they've forgotten all about me. One can be, and I quote, the toast of Europe, the brightest star ever to grace the stage, but fall under one little spell. <gasps> this is impossible. I know it is, but here we are. <laughs> well, now. What shall we dress you in for dinner? This is uh, nice. How would you like to borrow one of my gowns? Let me see what I have in my drawers. <coughs> Aha, voila. <coughs> oh dear. <laughs> The night I performed at the Royal Opera. The king himself was there. Of course, I have a little prayer fitting into it now. Take it. <laughs> That's very kind of you. But I'm not going to dinner. You heard what the master said. He may be your master, but he is not mine. I'm sorry, this is just happening so fast. It was a very, very brave thing you did, my dear. We all think so. I'm just going to miss my papa so much. Cheer up, child. I know things may seem bleak right now, but you mustn't despair. I wore this 